Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss bisecting k means clustering algorithm in machine learning with the help of simple example. First, we will understand what is bisecting k means clustering algorithm. Bisecting k means is a hybrid approach between divisive hierarchical clustering algorithm and k means clustering algorithm. I have already discussed both divisive hierarchical clustering as well as k means clustering algorithm. Also, I have solved numerical examples. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In k means clustering algorithm, in every step we divide the data set into k clusters and then uh, we will come up with the final clusters. But in bisecting k means clustering algorithm, we split one cluster into two subclusters at each bisecting step until we get the k number of clusters. So let's assume that the value of k is equal to 4. In k means clustering algorithm, what we do is in each iteration, we divide the data set into four clusters. But in bisecting k means clustering algorithm, what we do is the given data set will be divided into two clusters in every iteration until we get four clusters here. Now we will discuss the different steps in bisecting k means clustering algorithm. The first step is to define the value of k, that is the required number of clusters. Let's assume that the k is equal to 4 here. That means uh, we want to get uh, four number of clusters for the given data set. The second step is to set all data points uh, into a single cluster. Let us assume that we have been given some data points. All these data points will be assigned to one cluster here. So that is the step number two. In step number three, what we do is uh, we use k-means uh, clustering algorithm and we divide the data into two clusters. So this is the data set given to us. Uh, we apply k-means clustering algorithm on the top of this uh, data set and then we will divide this uh, data into two clusters. Let's say that we got two clusters, uh, cluster A and cluster B here. Once you get uh, cluster A and cluster B, in the fourth step, uh, we calculate the intra-cluster distance that is also known as uh, sum of uh, square distance. That is uh, summation of i is equal to 0 to n xi minus x bar bracket square, where uh, n is the number of data points in each cluster xi is the data point and x bar is the mean of that cluster. That means for cluster A and cluster B, we calculate uh, the sum of uh, square distance. Uh, to calculate the sum of square distance for A, uh, we need to use this equation where xi is the data point, each of these data points, x bar is the mean of these data points. Similarly, we calculate the sum of uh, square distance for the second cluster here. In step number five, what we do is uh, we select the cluster with the largest uh, sum of square distance. Let's assume that uh, the sum of square distance for A is uh, x and the sum of square distance for uh, B is y here. If x is greater than y, we select a cluster A. Again, we divide this cluster into uh, two clusters using uh, k-means clustering algorithm. If uh, the sum of square distance for cluster B is more than uh, A, we select B and then we divide that B into two clusters using k-means clustering algorithm. So let's assume that in this case, the sum of square distance for A is more compared to B. So what we do, we will apply the k-means clustering algorithm on cluster A and then we divide it into two clusters, let's say that C and D here. So this is the step number five here. So in the last step, that is step number six, what it says is we need to repeat the step number three to five until the number of clusters are equivalent to K here. So in the first step, we have defined the number of clusters is equivalent to four. So right now we got three clusters that is C, D and B. We are expecting how many number of clusters here? Four. So that's the reason what we need to do is among these three clusters that is C, D and B, we need to select one clusters with the largest uh, sum of uh, squared distance. And then uh, we need to divide that particular cluster into two clusters using k-means clustering algorithm. So let's assume that uh, at this point of time, the B is having uh, more uh, sum of uh, square distance. So we divide this B into two clusters. So once you divide this particular B into two clusters, we will get C, D, E and F are the clusters here. So we got four clusters and the value of K is also four here. So what we do is we will stop our uh, bisecting uh, K-means clustering algorithm at this point of time because we got uh, the required number of clusters at this point of time. So this is the simple process so what we apply on the given data set so that we will divide the data set into required number of clusters using bisecting k-means clustering algorithm. In another video, I have discussed a, a numerical example on bisecting k-means clustering algorithm. Link for that video is given in the description below. 
do follow that particular video to understand how to apply bisecting k-means clustering algorithm on the given data set and divide the data set into required number of clusters i hope the concept of bisecting k-means clustering algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching